Okay guys, I'm going to show you something that I have uh, learned from watching Barrett Yoshida. Uh, I call it the Barrett Control and into the Yoshida Fix, which is just his style of a uh, crucifix. There's a couple breakdowns on YouTube you could watch of how he does it, but then I added a lot of my personal game into it. I'm going to show you some on this video and then some on another video, okay? Because there's like nogi choke techniques and stuff like that. Anyways, I want to talk about controlling his head here, okay? So we're doing double overs. Which is not smart in normal grappling, okay? So uh, go ahead and peek, Devin. Like normally guys can peek out and come around my back because I'm not controlling his head, right? And, and I know that the, like wrestlers will talk about jujitsu guys having bad peek outs, but you gotta remember that like as a wrestler, you can you can post and like reshoot and all that kind of stuff because you're not worried about your neck or getting your arms crispy. So jujitsu guys start to freak out and that's where you get that's where you get the ball up happening, okay? So you know some people say well, why would he sit there? It's because you know, different sports, different reactions. Anyway, so I'm going double overs. Let's go like three quarter minute. I'm going double overs, but I'm turning on my hips and laying on his head. Now I'll try and peek out, Devin. Okay, so it's too hard for him to peek out. Okay, he's, not, he's just not able to do it. For any reason, if he got his head to the other side, I would just switch sides and be over here. Okay, so now we're going to go over what he's going to do from different reactions. So in the barrel control, though, I like to be S grip, not gable grip. You can gable grip if you like, and I'm flexing my elbows so that they're here on the tops of his arms. I'm not sticking my arms all the way inside. I'm here and I'm flexing them like that. Okay. This way. So number one, let's just do like the basics. Right. So I lay on his head. My my hips are all the way to his shoulder. And I'm in forward like this. Okay, so a lot of the times he does, like he might not do a bunch of, if he's trying to pick out or whatever, he might not be able to do anything. I'm going to go over reactions. He gives me no arm, he gives me no walk. I slide my knee forward, put my foot on the hip, and I get to the, to the truck position kind of. Okay, I still have the double overs. You can make whatever kind of transition you want to the back. Again, I'm here, I'm on his head. It gets no, I get no reaction out of his arms or his legs, so I can drive my knee in and I'm here. I can also switch to this grip and pull him over, and now I'm in the banana splits. One last time. For that particular movement, here, no reaction. I come up, I slide my knee in, and I'm here. Right? Triangle my legs, you can control the hip in the back, whatever. I'm on the back. Okay, so now let's say. A lot of the times this position can happen from like a shot or a double leg, right? So I can end up with my opponent's arm on my thigh. If that happens, just walk backwards and then come forward. It's the bottom leg that wants to collect. The top is kind of funky, so I'm here like this. Let's talk about if he has no reaction with his legs yet, okay? So I collected his arm. Or, most of the time, when I'm here like this, they'll just grab your leg. <laughs> That's what happens a lot. So what I'm going to do is I just come up, far side, wrist control is what I'm trying to gain. Look, so I post, I get far side wrist control, okay, and it's not even wrist, it's the palm. I dig inside that collar, I can do rear naked chokes, all that good stuff, but I dig inside that collar, I walk forward to pull him back, and now I can choke him. Again, I'm here, double over, he gives me the arm this time, but I get no movement out of his legs. So, I come up, far side wrist control. I can try and get the collar from here, walk forward. I got always pushing with my head while I do this choke, any kind of choke. If I was doing the short choke, rear naked choke, I assist the choke by pushing with my head. All right, oh, one last thing, let's talk about the arm lock, okay? So I'm here, he gives me the arm. I come up, grab the wrist. Walk forward. So I want to get this arm bar. But if his arm is hugging my leg this way, I can't get it. If his arm's hugging my leg this way, I can't get it. So just manipulate his arm with your legs. Alright? I can hug, hug my leg again. There you go. I can open it up. You see what I'm saying? Now my goal is to have an ankle on each side of his wrist. You just have to feel that out. One more time.
Okay. So now we're going to talk about sweeping them. All right. I'll do it this way so you can see my feet. I want you to not think knee up. It needs to be knee down or I'm fishing with my foot. If I'm laying here like this, gives me the arm. Okay. A lot of wrestlers. Go ahead and wrestle out of this. He's going to walk over it. Start putting me on my back this way. All that good stuff. All right. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to use my foot. Knee down. Toes up. Watch from here. He starts to walk. And when I hook. He gets swept over, right? As he gets swept over, I'm lifting his leg, and this leg's attached to my body, to his body. I pull my bottom arm out, I make a transition. This helps him to not hip escape and whatnot. Now I can slide to side, he can get my choke. You also have an arm bar right here without transitioning. Yeah. What time we at there, Chaz? Six minutes and two seconds. Cool. So I'm here, don't let me land on your elbow. Yeah, yeah. So here I get his arm, he starts to walk, I hook. Boom. I could also make the transition right here without sweeping him over. Hook, get the choke, can you see that? All right, so I can get him here even if he doesn't come over. But if he gets swept over, lift, connect, I got the submission. Here's the really cool part. If he foot fights to get out of here, right? Use your other foot if you want to. He just gets put in the regular crucifix. And then we'll get that submission. And the choke. So, usually, you know, we're taught not to have our leg in there. So you can actually have your leg in and help torque him. Lift his leg up, stops, it stops the hip escape. That's a really, really big factor, okay? Being able to stop his hip escape and having the, it's like a, one, two, three points of contact, and I got one arm on his neck. Four, it's, it's bad for him. So this is really great. Uh, well, I did this with a 270 pound wrestler. He can't peek out. I've done it, you know, I don't, I don't try these things right away and then put them on YouTube. I've been personally doing this in my game and doing it every single roll. Work my way up from blue all the way up into black belt until I start tapping black belts with it. Now I've added my own game with the truck and that kind of stuff, and it's working wonders for me, okay? Um, last one. We'll transition into a choke, okay? So, I'll be here, and I get his arm, okay? So if I get his arm, then I'm able to switch my arm back here. I'm gonna go from here to here. So it's like a head and arm control. But I can't quite wall stroke him, which is a head and arm guillotine, with a, because his arms are, his shoulders are away from his neck. So when I'm here like this, and I get no leg reaction. Everything's based on his different reactions, right? I switch over to here, and what I'm gonna do is I put my arm all the way around his neck. I don't know if you can see that. I put my hand on his shoulder. The back of my hand on his shoulder, okay? So I'm here, put my hand on the back of his shoulder. His arm comes out, grab my hand. High, high elbow guillotine, it's nasty. So from a couple angles, I know that one sucks, buddy. <laughs> so I'm here. I get his arm, but I get no other reaction out of his leg, so I can't get that sweep. So I transition, boom, okay? Push, so like my arm goes all the way around his head, push his shoulder, grab your palm like a high elbow guillotine, slide your knee in, put the leg over the head, and you got your choke. So, there's other stuff there, thank you. There's other stuff there as well, I'll show in another video. Um, but that's like the gist of it, the meat and potatoes. Man, it's, it's working great in so many different positions. Uh, head on the outside single, like this. Head on the outside single. You know? So like, if he does nothing, go to the truck. If he sticks his arm out, you can go to the crucifix. If he sticks his arm out and then he tries to run, you can sweep him and get into the Yoshida fix. If he foot fights, you can get to the regular Yoshida fix. You got an arm bar, you got a guillotine. Collar choke, rear naked choke, you've got all those. It's really great, man. I hope you guys try it out. Thank you, sir.